how we make our moral judgments. And a lot of scientific debates are fairly abstract and don't connect to public policy. But this matters because this asks questions like, what underlies our intuitions about abortion or gay marriage or the war in Afghanistan? And a lot of psychologists push a very hard line here, arguing that our moral intuitions are driven by gut feelings, by gut emotional reactions. Um, we might tell these elaborate stories, oh, I think gay marriage is fine because I give a bunch of arguments, but the arguments really are, have nothing to do with why I come to my opinion. I come to my opinion because of my, my feelings of empathy or anger or disgust because I want to affiliate with other people around me and they share that opinion because of, of how I was raised. Um, many psychologists believe rationality is irrelevant for adult moral judgments. I think that's mistaken. I think that's way too strong. I think that there's demonstration after demonstration of how people's rational, deliberative thoughts can actually shift their moral views, um, lead to a moral decision, lead to moral action, uh, cause people to change their minds and change the minds of others. I think unless you allow for an important role of rationality, you're unable to explain moral progress and moral change. You're unable to explain why the fact that right now you and I have all sorts of different views about gay marriage, racism, slavery, um, than people 100 years ago or even 50 years ago. So I'm a big fan of rationality. But a lot of my research does address the question of the role of the emotions in our moral judgment and our moral decision making. And again, we typically use um, people's attitudes towards homosexuality and gay marriage as a case study. And so this is some work I've done with uh, David Pizarro at Cornell University, as well as with other colleagues. And what we do, what we find is that the emotion of disgust plays a very strong role in one's feelings about gay marriage and about gay people more generally. So we find that um, people who are disgust sensitive, so we all have various sensitivity, we're all grossed out by some things and not others. Some of us are more grossed out, are grossed out easier than others. Um, those of us who are easily grossed out tend to be more morally disapproving of certain human activities, including uh, homosexuality. Uh, also, you could do this in the lab. So following some work by Jonathan Haidt and his colleagues, what we did was we'd put people in the lab and we'd ask them questions about all sorts of activities, including their attitudes about gay marriage. For half the people, we just put them in a the lab. For the other half of the people, we evoked disgust. And we did that actually by spraying a fart spray in the room. So people get a bit grossed out. Being grossed out makes you meaner. It makes you less uh, approving. It makes you sterner in certain ways. So my view on the interplay between reason and emotion and adult moral judgment is it's a complicated and very rich story. But it seems inescapable that our emotions play a role in our moral judgments, even in cases where we might not know this is happening, and even in cases where we'd rather it wasn't happening.